All right, welcome back, my dear students. So now that we have this page here, what next, right? Well, we need to actually put this file, CI, into our code editor, right? So we can start looking at the code. So I'm going to go to my htdocs, and I'm going to drag my CI folder into my code editor, which I'm using, by the way, called um, Sublime Tets. All right, you can use whatever code editor you like. It really doesn't matter. As long as it's a, uh, an OK code editor that you can see your errors and, and syntax highlighting, beautiful. So right here, I'm gonna, we're going to inspect Cold Igniter. I'm going to find out exactly what this FOSS is all about, what this talk about Cold Igniter, you know. So here, inside the CI folder, we have a couple of folders, application, system, user guide, all right? This is user guide folder will have basically the same information we have on the website for Code Igniter. This information right here, documentation, user guide. This will be the same thing that you will have in your in this in this folder, user guide right here. Click on it, and you can see that in my local host, I have the same information we have here. So we actually don't need that if we have internet. If you don't have internet and you want to keep this information with you all the time, that user guide, keep it. I'm going to right click it and delete it. All right. It's just taking space there. I don't, really don't need it. Now these folders here, you don't actually need to touch. All right. This is a, these are the core files for Code Igniter in the system folder. So we are going to be playing around in the applications folder. All right, this is where everything happens. So let's go to that local host. Let's go right here to that folder, CI right here. So what is this page? This is a welcome page, and this is actually a view. All right, what you're seeing right now is a view. Of course, it's a view because it's a web page, right? And we talked about that. So how is this being dynamically generated? How is this actually happening? Well, as you can see right now, look, it says, if you would like to edit this page, you'll find it at located at views and welcome. Of course, we have to go to application where the magic happens, then to the views folder, and then welcome underscore message.php. So let's go there and find out. So application, we are there, then views, and then welcome underscore message. Wow. So we are here, guys. Look at that. So this is all the text that we see on that page. Beautiful. So if I wanted to change the title here, I just say welcome to Edwin Diaz course, CI course, and save. If I go back to that page and refresh, we can see that it changed. Beautiful. So, all right, Edwin, now you show me how to do this. One net, right? That's what you might be asking yourself. Okay. Perfect. This is not very exciting, but I'll, I'll, I can guarantee you it's, gonna, it's going to get exciting. All right. So how is this view being generated? It's crazy, right? Because it's in a folder called views. And right here on top, we actually don't see that anywhere. I can just come here and say views and type in the file name, right? Enter. You see it doesn't find it. And if I go here, it doesn't find it either. All right. So this is being generated by something called the controller. And we talked about that. So let's go to the controllers. And where are the controllers? In the controller folder. Remember, it's three things. Controllers, models, and views. All right. So if this view is being generated by a controller, how is the controller doing it? Let's go to the controller which is welcome.php. We click on it and we can see that the controller is just a class called welcome. All right? And this class is extending the functionality of another class called the CI underscore controller, which is the main class for every controller that we are going to be creating. So every controller is going to be doing this, extending the CI controller. And you can have as many controllers as, as you want, of course. All right. Basically, we will have a user controller, a task controller, a form controller, whatever controller you want, right? Whatever functionalities you want to separate. Of course, we want to separate the user's controllers from the form controllers, right? It's just common sense, right? 
So right now we are extending the functionality. We're using a default method or function called index. And what this index is doing is loading everything right away when the page loads. And what is actually loading right now is a view called welcome message. This keyword, this word here, welcome underscore message, you can notice that it's the same as this file right here, welcome underscore message, without the p dot PHP, which is the extension. It doesn't have the extension. It doesn't need it. So to in order for us to load a view, we need this whole code right here without the extension of the file. We have the we need the file name and no extension. All right. We're always going to be using the this keyword here, all right, to refer to whatever is on this class right here, or in this class, of course. So we use this, and then we use load, all right, and then the method view. This method view will load that view, that page. It, it, it's basically like including it in a way. All right, that's what basically that class, that method is doing. All right. So if I take this off here and I'm going to comment that out and I will say something like echo, this is the welcome controller and put my semicolon here, save. We can come back here. We can go to the CI, of course, to the root. And we can see now that we are not loading a view. We are actually loading just this text. Not loading it, but displaying this text because that's what I'm doing right here in index. All right? Only this method would do that. If I try to make another method right here and I say public function test method, And I use this and I comment, I take this out, right, and save it. Watch what happens. Enter. Now it doesn't find the page. Why is that? Because only the index method could do that, could load something right away when the page is loaded. All right? So on the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to use more methods, all right, for this welcome controller. All right. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next lecture.